Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with the Not So Perfect Homeschool. And today's video, I am going to be talking about all about reading and when you buy a package deal, what comes with it. And also um, talk about how I organize it to make it simple to do a lesson each day and not have to do a bunch of prep work every single day. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so first of all, when you first get your All About Reading, um, you are going to get a teacher's manual, and this has all of the lesson plans in it, and then also you will get a student book, and the student book is all of the reading activities and everything, and there is a lot of prep, and so every single lesson there is things to cut out, um, cards to to gather and letter tiles and all of that and so um, I watched a video on how Katie at Life in the Mundane organizes her all about reading and I did what she does so I got this big three inch binder and this I just cut the um, I just cut the cover off of the book after I got all of the pages out and stuck it in here um, but the way it works is so in each page protector is everything you need for one lesson so this is lesson one so the first day that we did this all about reading I just took this out brought over my teacher's guide which also I am gonna be taking this to get it spiral bound because when you're in the first few lessons, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't like to stay open. It likes to slam shut on you. Um, so you'll be doing your lesson and then as soon as you let go, it slams shut. So anyway, um, I want to take it and they, they'll cut the spine off and they will spiral bound the whole thing. So you can flip it open and leave it open and I really wanna do that. I think I'm gonna do it this weekend. Um, okay, so anyway, this is everything you need for lesson one. It has the phonics cards needed for lesson one and the word cards. And so I went through every single page of this, every single lesson, one by one, so what I did is I, I opened up the student book and I ripped out all the pages first. And I put them each, like I put each lesson in its own page protector. Then a different night, what I did was I put on a really good show that I was hooked on and I got a glass of wine. You don't have to do that step, but um, I just went through and took out each activity page, cut out whatever needed to be cut out. So you can see here, like this was a word that was cut out and then there's some other things that were cut out as well. And then um, each, um, in the teacher's guide, each lesson, it tells you what phonics cards are gonna be needed for that lesson and what word cards. And the phonics cards, the phonics cards and the word cards are numbered. So they will say like card number six or whatever, card number 12. Um, and so it was really simple to go through and get everything I needed for every lesson. So this is lesson two in this page protector. This is lesson one. And so tomorrow, I think we'll be on lesson four. And so tonight, um, to get ready for tomorrow, I am just going to pop open my binder. I'm gonna take this out. And then I also, I just stick it in the page that I need. So when I open this up tomorrow, it's already open to lesson four in the teacher's guide. And then everything I need is right here. I don't use the physical letter tiles, which you you would buy those separate if you are gonna go that route. They're like the magnet letter tiles and you can put them on like a magnet, magnetic 
um, whiteboard or something um, but they actually make a letter tiles app now so you don't even have to have the physical tiles you don't have to deal with those or losing them or anything like that so they make an app you can use it on the iPad you slide the letters around and it's so it's super simple and also the tile app you choose what lesson you're on and it gives you only the tiles that you need for that lesson so there's not all the letters down there or you could choose to show all the letters it's up to you um also i wanted to point out the binder that i got i'm gonna open that like halfway up okay so the binder that i got you do not have to pry open the rings. You can use one hand and just go bing and it opens up like so easy. Um, so I really do love this binder too. I'll link it in the description box. Um, all right, so what else does All About Reading come with? It comes with this viewfinder bookmark. You can, your student can use this to only see one word at a time and if you have a really distracted kid ah! and if you have a really distracted kid and these words would distract them you can just turn it around and use the back and then and that fits perfectly in the spine right there and then um also i keep I keep these stickers in the front of my teacher's guide, but every day when they complete a lesson, they peel off their sticker and they stick it on their chart. And so once they're all done with All About Reading, their chart will be all filled in. It'll say, I did it, and it'll be super exciting. Um, this is what the chart looks like, and I. this is what that looks like. And I keep them taped in, um, I keep them taped on a door inside one of our homeschool cupboards. I haven't bought an index card box yet for the phonics cards and the word cards, but when you're done with each lesson, you are supposed to put them, there's review, mastered, future lessons. Um, and then same with the word cards. Um, review mastered and future lessons but like i said i keep mine all in the page protectors and so um i would be putting them all in review and then once they have mastered them completely then they could go in the mastered part but i think i'm gonna continue to keep mine in the page protectors um just because i'm gonna be using this with multiple kids I am going to be filming tomorrow's lesson with my, oh my gosh, I almost said five-year-old. Okay, I'm going to be filming tomorrow's lesson with my six-year-old and I am going to get that uploaded soon. Hopefully by like Friday I'll have that up on YouTube. Um, but this is the first reader, so this is volume one, and it, or level one, volume one. It is Run, Bug, Run. And then level one volume two so this is the second reader for um level one and then the third reader so the books are super high quality and really nice pages really pretty pictures all of this curriculum is in color now they used to all be black and white everything was black and white the activities the teacher's guide the readers everything was black and white um so it's super fun that it is all in color and yeah so i guess i'm just gonna now turn the camera around and show you guys a flip through of everything a little more in depth and yeah all right so like i said i have my lesson four already here in the spot that i need it i have the review um page in here she will be reading all of these words on that page and then when we start our lesson i will take out the activity right away actually i just dump out the whole the whole page protector and then we have the phonics cards we have everything ready that we need for that lesson actually i think this is not open to the right page so here's the right page so it tells you right here that 
I'm gonna need phonics cards nine through 12 and word cards 14 through 23. Those are all in there already. And then um, the activity pages. And then I just go through um, and I have a little script. So it tells the teacher exactly what to do and what to say. And then we will be getting the um, app up when it's time to do the letter tiles. And it's super simple and I am super excited for this lesson because it has the monster game. I've actually been looking forward to doing the monster game. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. We are gonna film do a lesson, a do a lesson with me tomorrow. So this is the day that it's gonna be in my video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab this, stick it here. And then also it will tell you too if they're gonna be reading from one of the readers. So last lesson, lesson three, she read from the reader. So it had you have the book. And then it also tells you, it tells you, let's see. Um, it tells you to have them stop after certain pages so that you can ask them certain questions to see if they are reta retaining what they're reading. Um, and so it'll tell you like after page 13, ask them this question. After page 15, ask them this question. So I really, really enjoy that about it too because I probably wouldn't have thought to ask those questions um, on my own. All right, so I don't know why I keep this in here as a bookmark when I don't really need it because this is my bookmark. Um, and then what do I have? I have bookmark, a bookmark in the back here for the appendix. So there's a bunch of stuff in the, in the appendix too, like extra resources and like they have this monster too. So you can use it for review words. And then um, there's like some cool resources for B's and D's because a lot of kids get those mixed up. Um, and then yeah, there's a bunch of flip books like this too. So you'll like flip the W and then it'll, there will be a B and then an L and a D and an R and they and then it just helps them see words with the same ending and how they sound the same. Um, okay, so that's the teacher's guide. And then these are the readers. I guess I'm doing a flip through. I wasn't planning on it. It's hard for me to do it with one hand, but. So this is the first reader that they read from. So it's super easy. And then I'm gonna show you into the second one. Oh no, sorry, that was the second one. This is the first one. So the first one's even easier, you can see. Way easier. Way fewer words. And then the third one, towards the end of the third one, you can see they're gonna be reading so much more at this point. But the illustrations are really fun and exciting and I just really, really love it. And then I'm gonna show you some of what I have going on in my binder. So there's just every single lesson is an activity. Bingo. And so the amount of cutting out that I did that night was a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot. But I'm glad that it's all done with because now I won't have to do it every day. I'm just done with it. So there we have it. That's it.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in All About Reading, I have a link in my description box. It is an affiliate link, so I will get like a little tiny commission if you used my link to order. Um, but yeah, I am so excited about this curriculum. We are loving it already. We've only been using it for a little short while. So I will be filming some reviews coming up um, once I've been doing it longer. And like I said, I'm going to be sharing doing lessons with my kids with this. So I'm really excited about that as well. And I'm just going to be sharing the whole process with you guys. Um, as my child hopefully becomes a fluent reader so anyway thank you guys for watching and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and click that subscribe button i would love to have you here um yeah give me a thumbs up if you like this video comment down below let me know if you have tried all about reading or if maybe you haven't yet but you want to um also all about reading has a really good return policy so if you're not satisfied with it you can get your full money back i want to say you have 60 days i can't remember but um really good return re return policy so anyway Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.